fun. Thanks, you guys. I'm so embarrassed I could die. Don't even talk to me. I died three blocks ago. What's wrong with you guys? Chip, your first carriage ride is supposed to be a special occasion. It's meant to be taken with somebody you're totally crazy about. So, you said I could do what I wanted to do for my birthday. This is it. Oh, my God. What? Arnie Anderson and Russ Chandler off the court side. Quick, Chip, try to look older. I am older. She means about 10 years older. Quick, hide. Tell us when the coast is clear. OK, it's clear. They're walking the other way. Hi, Arnie. Hi, Russ. Have a happy birthday, Chip. It just might be your last. Sandwich? Chip, if you get jelly on my homework, you're gonna eat it. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme! Give Will you please stop grabbing at it? I saw it first! What's going on? Nothing. We just found a wallet. Where? Right outside. We found it? I found it. No, you didn't. You said, what's that in the gutter? I saw it was a wallet. Then I directed you to it, so hand it over. The mask of greed, children. Look upon it well. I just want to look in there and see if there's any money in it. Me too. Me too. Me too. Popular mask. There's money, all right. But I want it understood that it is not our money. Is that clear? How much? Kate. <clears throat> is not our money. That's all I want to know. That's all I wanted to ask. Jeez. We're just curious, Allie. It's only natural. Come on, Ma. Hurry up. Hurry up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hurry up. You're turning into a mob. All right, Ellie, how much is there? One, two, three. Three what? Ones, tens, twenties? Five hundred. Dollars? Bills, five hundred dollar bills. Five hundred dollar bills as in five hundred dollar bills or five hundred dollar bills or five hundred dollar bills? <laughs> five hundred dollar bills. Let me see. Oh, my God. Good. One, two, three. Don't stop again. Four, five, six. Go, baby, go. Seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Ten. Five thousand dollars. <laughs> Life is good. Okay. Now, I am going to look through this wallet and find some sort of ID so we know who to return it to. Do you know what you're doing? Do you realize what you're saying? Ah, oh, yes. Now we're going to look through the wallet to see if there's any ID so that we'll know just who to return it to, and then we'll feel great, honest, decent, and great. There's no ID. Great! I, I meant darn it, but it, it just came out great. Well, with, with no ID, what can we do? We could, um... Twenty-five hundred for you and twenty-five hundred for me. Hey, don't we get anything? We'll discuss your split later. Now, does anybody want the wallet? I'll take it. I like your attitude, kid. This is an awful lot of money. Yeah, well, not more than I can spend. On what? Oh, all kinds of good things. Paris gowns, Swiss chalets, Japanese stereos, American Express. What? In this little compartment, see? You had to have two kids. You couldn't just settle for one. <laughs> Give me the card, Chip. I don't suppose there's any point in appealing to your lowest possible instincts. Of course not. You're right. Horribly, disgustingly right. What's the name on there? Joseph M. Tupper. Let's see if we can give him a call. Oh, Allie, there must be a thousand Joseph M. Tuppers in the New York City area. If he is in New York City, we don't even know if he's here. He could be on the top of a mountain in Tibet or on a camel in the middle of the Sahara Desert. Or at 647 East 79th Street. Mrs. Lowell? Mr. Tupper, please come in. My friend Kate McArdle. Hi. It was good of you to call me. Most people wouldn't have gone through the trouble. Oh, it was no trouble at all, Mr. Tupper. Please sit down. I'll get your wallet. It's money, Mrs. Lowell. Money is always trouble. Boy, you must see a lot of trouble. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, well, I mean, you carry so much money. <laughs> That's the business. Here's your wallet, Mr. Tupper. Oh, thank you. What, what business are you in, Mr. Tupper, if it's not too personal? Odd lots. Odd lots? Odd lots? Odd lots. 4,000 musical pandas come in from Seoul. 
the store in Flagstaff goes bankrupt. 4,000 pandas with no place to go. Odd lots. <laughs> money, 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 what's it all mean? <laughs> Here. Here, ladies, I want you to have this. Uh, just to say thank you. Oh, Mr. Tupper, you really Allie? Should... <laughs> Take it. What is it? It's a little bit of paper. Why all the fuss? That's right. Why make a big fuss over nothing? <laughs> well, good night, ladies, and thank you. Uh... Nobody here wears a size 16, do they? No. Well, that's too bad. I've got 600 Lady Liberty nightgowns <laughs> rotting in storage. Goodbye. What a nice man. What a nice reward. Oh, he shouldn't have. But he did. Did he come? He came, he saw, he dispersed. Gave that to you? Yeah, a token of his thanks. This should be a lesson to you in the value of honesty. <laughs> no wonder today's youth is confused. Well, I know that I'm going to have a really good time enjoying the fruits of my goodness. Not so fast, sister. Half that stash is mine. But I thought he shouldn't have. But he did. <laughs> Mom, what are you doing with our... I mean, your share of the money. Something really self-indulgent. What a surprise. Allie, this is found money. Listen to it. It's not saying pay the phone bill. It's begging for a one-night stand. <laughs> well, maybe something for the kids, because they're so good to set the table. Right, I need a new skateboard. Chip, what? It's your money, Ma. I think you should spend it on yourself. Well, you know, I could put it in the bank. Oh, here we go again. You know, Allie, you are incapable of doing anything frivolous. I am not. You are, too. I've never seen you waste so much as one dime on anything you didn't need. Okay. Okay. You want frivolous? I'll show you frivolous. There. Reagan's polyps, a new perspective. There. <laughs> Super So Mark III, one day sale only, two forty nine ninety nine. A sewing machine. You call that frivolous? It's a closeout on last year's model. Oh wow! Let's just throw caution to the wind. <laughs> I suppose you've got something wonderful planned. Yes, I do. I've always wanted a day of beauty at La Boutique. And you know something? I'm going to go there tomorrow, get rebuilt from the basement to the attic. All this is happening tomorrow, and I bet you can't spend your half of the money by then. And not on a sewing machine. Is that a challenge? Yes, it is. All right. I happen to think your values are a little warped, but I'll show you I can spend money like the best of them. On what? For your information, I am going to buy myself an original work of art. Just like that. Just like that. Something that has no other purpose than to sit there and look beautiful. Ha! <laughs> Hello? Anybody home? Come and see what I got. Hello, my beauty. Welcome to your new home. Auntie Kate is sitting on the edge of her chair to find out about you. Wait a minute. Hello? Uh, Kate? <laughs> Kate? Hello? Allie? Kate? I spent it the whole shebang. I have my own personal work of art. How do you feel about abstract? How abstract? Well, it's got a kind of a face in it. Well, it, I'm sure it's wonderful. It's really not a face. It's more like an otter or something. It's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. I thought it was abstract. It became concrete. Well, why did you buy it? I thought it would be good for me. Allie, it is not supposed to be good for you. It's supposed to be enjoyable. Explain the difference. Take it back, get your money back, go out and do something you like. Yes, Master.
I will enjoy myself. I will enjoy myself. I will enjoy myself. I will enjoy myself, even if I hate it. <laughs> no, this isn't it either. I just can't make up my mind. I've noticed. How do the shoulders look? Wonderful. I don't know. What do these shoulders say to you? Honestly? Yeah. They're saying, by God, we're one lucky pair of shoulders. <laughs> really? Really. Well, my shoulders will say anything. Are you sure you don't have anything else? I've just shown you everything in or near your size. Oh, it's so hard to strike that balance between level-headed practicality and senseless extravagance. Yes. The threat of nuclear annihilation pales in comparison. <laughs> oh, do beg your pardon. Oh, that's okay. I've taken up so much of your time. But it just doesn't make any sense to me to spend good money on something that isn't me. Thanks, anyway. Whoa! That's me! <laughs> well? Do you trust me? Implicitly. It's perfect. The size, the style, the color, the cut. It's the most perfect dress of any kind I've ever seen on anyone I've ever known. <laughs> and I deeply mean that. How much? How much can you spend? 250. Amazing, it's just been marked down. You don't think it's too baggy? Shrinks to fit. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. I'll make up a sales slip while you change. Oh, I can't tell you what a relief this is. For both of us. <laughs> You're going to love it. Well, if not, I can always take it back. All sales final. What's wrong with me? Never start a conversation with that question. <laughs> Most people would just take this money and spend it without a second thought. They'd be trying to. I feel so guilty. You know, in some countries, people don't make this much in a year. Ali, in this country, some people make that much in an hour. But I guarantee you that is never going to be you and me. So let's enjoy the good times. Reality is going to set in soon enough. Can I ask you something? What? Can I have your melon? No. I'm hungry. You've got $250. Go buy yourself lunch. <laughs> Very funny. I'm serious. A $250 lunch? I could never. Is that possible? Oh, Innocence, thy name is Allie. <laughs> you know Le'Vian de Printemps? Was he married to Edith Piaf? <laughs> He's a restaurant. It's a big celebrity hangout. You've been there? No, but the next wallet I find, that's right where I'm headed. <laughs> I couldn't possibly. Good food? Great food. A meal you'll remember for the rest of your life. You'll be telling your grandchildren about the placemats. You know what else? What? It's not returnable. Done. Are your nails really going to be that color? Yes? What? May I help you? Yeah, I was just going to move a little closer to the front. I'm sorry, madame. All the other tables are taken. <laughs> By whom? Certain people. Uh. I'm your waiter, Paul. Would you care for a cocktail? Uh, no, thank you. Just water. Very good, madame. Um, excuse me, Paul. Yes, Pardon my ignorance, but there are no prices on this menu. No, madame, it's prefix. And, uh, <clears throat> what is the fix of the pre? $135, madame. I see. Plus gratuity. Yes, thank you, madam. Would you care to hear the a la carte specials of the day? They're not on the prefix. Please. The soup du jour is consommé de poulet. And how much is that? 
twelve dollars. For chicken broth. <laughs> Chef is also preparing laser for camembert. And what is the price of a cheese omelet? Twenty-eight dollars. <laughs> and finally, we have lamb chops persil, forty-five dollars. And how are they prepared? Persil, madame. Meaning? With parsley. <laughs> Paul, are, are you aware of the problems of world hunger? We don't see too much of that here, madame. No, I wouldn't thank you. Would you like more time? No, thank you. Well, then I await your order, madame. What are you going to have? I'm going to have... going to have... the dress. <laughs> Would you like music? I've never had this much trouble making up my mind. Mrs. Lowe, try to look at it from this perspective. In a hundred years, who will care? I'm sorry for being so indecisive. Oh, no, it's not that. It's just that I close in 15 minutes, and it would be so terribly inconvenient for you to have to come back tomorrow. Can I use your phone? Hold on a sec. Hey. Hi, listen. I didn't have lunch there. I'm sorry, I just couldn't. But anyway, I'm here at the dress shop, and I have on this gorgeous red two-piece. I think the only way to describe it would be classic. I don't even know why I'm hesitating, so why don't I just get it? Goodbye. Thank you very much. Goodbye. <laughs> Hello? Hello? I've come to a decision. Would you care to share it with me? <laughs> I am going to take this dress right here today. Dare I believe you? Yes, I love it. I can just see myself. Oh, no. Oh! What? The stitching's coming undone. I'll fix it. Leave it. I'll have it ready Monday. No, no. I have to bring this home tonight. I'll fix it now. Come in the back. Oh, you are so kind. You know, I don't think I could have been this patient. No, it's my therapist. He's a genius. <laughs> Is that the Super So Mark III? Yes! Do you have one? No, but I would Oh, love... I don't know what I ever did without it. If you like to sew, it's the best machine for the money. And it's even better than the new model. Excuse me, back in a minute. Why don't you get out of that dress? I'll have it sewn up for you in a second, and it'll be all yours. Why are you looking at me that way? Here we are. Welcome to your new home. <laughs> Professional pleading. Curtains, drapes, buttonholes. Oh, tucks and ruffles! Mom? Mom? Is that you? Mom? How'd it go? Terrific. What'd you get? Let's see. Ah, uh, gee, I can't show you. Why not? You didn't spend it, did you? For your information, I spent every penny. Where? What'd you do with it? Well, first I bought a sculpture. Really? Where is it? It's back at the gallery. I returned it. Then what did you buy? Lunch at Le Vian Printemps. You're kidding. Meryl Streep goes there. What did you get? Water. <laughs> For $250? For nada. I left without ordering. Why? Well, I just kept seeing the devil writing down my name and what I ate. My mother was right. <laughs> Your mother was wrong. She has her idea about money, and I have mine. For your information, I got something that I am going to enjoy for as long as I own it. What? 
promise you won't laugh. Ma, what did you do with the money? I got... Ta-da! You probably don't recognize me. I used to be Kate McArdle. <laughs> you look good. I look great. I've got the receipt to prove it. Yeah, except for that spot on your coat. What? Oh, no. Does moose stain? It already has. Oh, gosh. I better go down and look for something to remove the spot. Then I want to hear all about that lunch. Right. I want to hear every detail from soup du jour to nut loaf. Oh, who was there? What went on? Just exactly everything. Oh, listen. Be careful when you're on the stairs. There's a box there that... Uh, uh... you some stuff from the gift shop. Let's see. Ah. Flowers. <gasps> ah. <laughs> the hospital, they'd be hypoallergenic. Crossword puzzles. Book of inspirational thought. Really sleazy novel with lots of sex in it. And I brought you some magazines. You know, the girl on the cover wears her hair just like you. It could be you if you could windsurf. If I could walk. <laughs> you hate me, don't you? I don't hate you. Why not? It's all my fault. It's not your fault. I'd feel better if you'd let me take the blame. I know. What can I do to get you to forgive me? Well, you could amuse me. How? I don't know. Tell me jokes, sing me songs, get on your hands and knees, bark like a seal. You really hate me. I don't hate you. How bad is it? Herniated disc. Is it painful? Only when I'm conscious. You're never going to forgive me for this, are you? Forget it. Okay. You want me to bark like a seal, I'll bark like a seal. <laughs> Oh, so that's why I wouldn't go out with him. Hi, Kate. And how's the most beautiful girl in traction today? Just fine. I forgive you. <laughs> it's rare for the National Rifle Association and the PTA to get together on an issue, but one spokesman said, this time, we mean business. What kind of education is that? Shoot now, talk later? Oh, my God. What? A man died at Les Vions de Printemps. How? Mr. R.J. Rivera of Manhattan experienced heart failure at approximately 2 p.m. this afternoon at the fashionable restaurant Les Vions de Printemps. Distraught waiters refused to comment in English, but the maitre d' said attempts to revive him by waving a gold card under his nose were unsuccessful. Who made that up? Just trying to take your mind off your troubles. <laughs> Just when you think there's no one around who's caring Along comes a friend who offers a hand in sharing Then things start looking fine Sometimes tears and sorrow are all the things you've got Just when you think you're all by yourself, you're not